Hi, welcome to the Happiness Hive podcast. I'm Catherine Bowyer and I am completely fascinated by people and what motivates them. I've spent the past three and a half decades specialising in mindset and human behaviour. And I've helped thousands of people to create happy and amazing lives. And now I am super excited to be chatting with women from around the world who I have secret, and to be honest, not so secret crushes on. They're women who inspire me. I'm intrigued as to how they do life and what makes them tick. I want to find out their magic formula that makes them who they are. And at the end of the episode, I'd love for you to say, I'd like a little bit of what she's having. The conversations are real and raw. They're full of passion, inspiration, and lots of fun. And nothing is off limits. So grab yourself a cuppa or pop on your trackie and go for a walk and join us for today's chat. There may just be that pearl of wisdom you need to hear. So let's shimmy on over and get started. Hi there. Here we are for the second part of the New Year fabulous next level you process that I go through. If you, I went through part one, which is about reviewing the year that's just been and talking about the process that I go through. If you haven't listened to that and you want to, it's in the previous podcast episode. And this um, episode is about setting my intentions for the year ahead. And as you're listening to this, I've pre-recorded it. So I haven't actually gone through my planning process yet. I will probably be going through it the time that you're listening to this. And I will hopefully be sitting on a beach in Bali with my New Year Fabulous Next Level You playbook and reflecting on the year that was, but also setting my intentions for 2024 and really what I want the year to be. And the process for that is I go through and I know people have their own versions of how they reflect and plan. And I very much am about setting intentions and I definitely have goals and I have actions that I want to take, but I don't over plan that, you know, my, my life isn't planned to the nth degree. I really move into that energy about what do I want to bring in to my life this year. So I start out by thinking, what what is my kind of in, intention for the year and overall an overarching, you know, what, what do I want to experience and what captures that? And a lot of people go through this process of having a word for the year. I love it. I have a word or a phrase. I really like that. For me, it's my lighthouse. And I've talked about this before the lighthouse on the horizon, and it just keeps me on, just on my path for what I would like the year to be. And because I've reflected on the previous years, I also think about, well, what what changes do I want? And as I said to you, I haven't really gone through this process in depth my own, but I do know what my intention is for um, 2024. And the term, the phrase that I've used and whether this will be exactly um, the, the words, but the essence for me is about to be and to receive. And what that means to be is just not forcing stuff. It's about just really embodying, really embodying who I am and being in the essence of who I am, not trying to for something or make something happen, but it's about being really, really present and in the moment with me and what's going on in life. And the receive element is that there's a lot of things that have been put in place over the, you know, the seeds have been planted over, you know, years <laughs> in some cases. And the big thing is the the seed change that we're making. Like those seeds were planted a long time ago and they're 
they've germinated and they're coming into full fruit this year. So it's about receiving and allowing and just living in the fruitfulness of life. So that's for me is about choosing a word or a phrase that's going to be my focus for the coming year. That's where I start my my process is what do I kind of want this year to be? And then I think about, well, what are maybe two or three really big things? And maybe they're not that so big, but what do I want to, what are the big things that I'm working on this year? And for me, 2024 is all about the sea change. That if you've listened to previous podcasts, if you listened, if you follow me on socials, I've been sharing about that. So my husband is retiring from teaching at the end of 2024, like early 2025. Um, I'm not retiring, but we are moving locations and we are going to be selling up from Canberra, where I have lived for 40 years. I grew up in country New South Wales in Young, which is two hours from here. So I moved to Canberra when I was 17. I've lived here for 40 years and that wasn't the, the, the plan, but that's how it had eventuated. And John and I very consciously made the decision to remain here when the kids have left home for him to, you know, bring his teaching career to an end, and then that we would move to the ocean, the seaside, and I am so, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. So that, um, so when I'm thinking about goals, that's the big one for 2024, and there's a whole lot of sub goals that come under that, and things that we need to do. And it's about selling our property here. It's about finding. So we haven't got a property there yet. It's about all the logistics. And then it's also about the adjustment. So we will be gradually moving into the new property. I will still be coming back to Canberra and working. I know that. And because a lot of my work is based here, but a lot of it is online as well. And there will be new opportunities for me in relation to the work. Oh my gosh so excited who would love to come and hang out as it on a retreat by the coast that's what i'm excited about doing anyway so one of my really big goals is the sea change that's number 1 and number 2 and these all these all I, I will refine these when i actually go through this process in more detail while i'm on the beach in bali just saying but one of the the second kind of big thing that I'm working on is streamlining and relaunching the the offerings with the Happiness Hive. So the website's in a, a makeover. So it's about the makeover and what the Happiness Hive is actually going to be providing in 2024. And there's absolutely the 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 offerings that I currently have, there's some of those, there's some of those, yeah, they're the, the core ones that will continue, absolutely. But there's a whole lot of new, new ones that are going to be introduced. So it's about the happiness high makeover. And there was a word that came to mind then. It's about really being in that space of where the happiness hive is at and where I'm at. Really, I'm I've I've changed I haven't had a complete makeover but you know we all change we all evolve I, the, the happiness hive has evolved I've evolved and 2024 is really about bringing those evolutions to the world that's exciting so that's cool I'll have to re-listen to this so I can remember what I said then and then I guess the third big focus for me is really about that family connection, just making sure that there's time carved out for our little fam bam, that there's holidays scheduled in, there's events, there's time for John and I, there will be a lot of readjustment in this new year. And it's about how that how that all happens. Do you know what? I just have this beautiful vision and I was watching something on telly the other night and they had this, it was a family, it was a Christmas thing. And they had this beautiful family Christmas where 
all the 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 immediate family, the add-ons, the family, the friends, the the people visiting, they all just kind came and were together. I would I just want that for our property at the coast is for it to be a place of gathering for you know people in my life to be able to come to. So it's not just about a place for John and I to live. It's also about a a lifestyle for for us as well. It's part of my work offerings and it's just I want it to be a space where friends and people that we meet just come and gather. So that's that's where I'm. <laughs> that's the essence of what 2024 will be to me is the the closing the chapter on living in Canberra, creating the chapter of living in a new place. Um, so it's about bringing this chapter to a close and starting the new chapter. That's really about what what mine will all be about. I also, when I'm thinking of the new year, I think about what are my core values in life. Just to remind me again, this is part of the lighthouse, um, keeping me on track and have my values changed. Core values tend not to change, but they might just be, be show up slightly different. My core values are happiness, health and wellness, and living a rich and abundant life. So living my best and most beautiful life. So they're the three kind of areas that I really focus on is is what I'm doing bringing me joy and happiness and just pure bliss is is that's what lights me, me up. So it, it, am I including that in my life? Health and well-being, I've talked about this before. It's no point in if I'm not healthy and if I'm not looking after this vessel and this mind, body, and spirit that I am, doesn't matter what else I have in my life, it's not going to happen if I if I don't have my health and wellness. So that's a really important thing for me. And then that rich, living that rich and abundant life, certainly that's about financial abundance, but that's only a very, very small part of it for me. The rich and abundance is what I just shared with you about the property, the, the sea change, Having a space where people can come and hang out is rich and abundant. That just lights me up so much that providing a beautiful experience for the people that I work with and people I come into contact with, that lights me up. Having time with my family lights me up. Being able to share experiences with John and that lights me up. Rich and abundant life is hanging out with my fur buddy, Boston, and that lights me up. So that's what, uh, having time to do the things that I want to do, having choice in life about what I want to do and being able to create experiences for other people, that's and what a rich and abundant life is and all the other trimmings that go with it. So so that's kind of the kickoff for me about reflecting on what I want the year ahead to be. Then I go through the the life wheel or what I'm calling it now is the life well. And it's about the different areas in life, the little pools that we've got or the pockets in life that we've got. And really looking at those together holistically but also independently i look at them and go well how is each of these pools in my well of life going is it full of fresh beautiful energy or is it feeling a little bit stagnant and a bit of that you know manky old sorry a whole lot of images came to my mind then but is it kind of snag stagnant and a bit stinky is it empty or is it full and overflowing which of the areas of my life, which of those pools of my life need topping up and which ones do I need to just simmer and and let go? So the, and you can do this. I've got a happiness checker that you can download. The details will be in the show notes where you can get that. That's a free resource for you. And it 
the way I do it, there's so many life wheels out there, but the way I do it is I've got 10 different pools in my life well. Me, myself is one of those areas, my health and well-being, family, friends, um, my love life, so my relationship with John, the fun stuff that I do, the contributions that I'm making to this world and the world around me, my spirituality, my business, for those of you, it could be your career, and then my finance and lifestyle, so the finance and things that I have in life. So I take take each of those pools of my life well, and I just look at which ones are doing okay, which ones could really do with a a top-up, and what ones am I going to focus on? And you know what? Do they all need to be full at the same time? You know, that might be nice. It's probably not reality. But which ones do need to be filled up and need a little bit more attention? So the life well goes hand in hand with the this process that I go through. And then I get into a little bit more detail about how do I really want to feel this year? I've already talked about some of that. And wouldn't it be great if these things happened this year? So I'm starting to break my goals down into kind of more detailed things that I want to have happen. What am I going to give myself the gift of this year? And if I was living my best and most beautiful life, what would that look like for me for this year? It might be the same as what it was last year. It's probably going to be a little bit different based on my reflections of last year and what's happening this year. And then if I was stepping into my magnificence, what would that look like and what do I need to do to make that happen? And what am I going to do for hanging out with my family and friends and where do I want to go and what do I want to let go of and what am I going to really make this year about? What, is there anything that I want to learn? Is there anything that I'm going to do just for me that doesn't include anybody else in life? Um, they, and you can add your own bits here. So I was thinking, I'm really, I I start high level. What is it that I kind of want? You know, the sea change, I, you know, I'm pretty clear about that because this isn't just the first time I've thought about it. This is, if we think about that manifesting timeline, I'm at the, it's almost happening end of the timeline. The seed's been planted. The seeds were planted a long, long, long time ago. I've been watering and nurturing and putting sunshine and warmth onto those those seeds of intention and that they're coming to fruition. So now we, where John and I, are, we're doing much different actions. We're became, becoming a lot more, there's a lot more for us to do now to make that final stage actually happening. We're almost about unwrapping the present. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Fuck, I'm so excited that as you're listening to this, as I said, probably sitting on the beach in Bali, doing the the intentions, but when we get back from Bali, it will be all systems go of packing up 25 years. So we've lived in this house for 25 years. We'll be in pack up, um, throw out, downsize. We'll be in action mode, full on doing stuff mode. And then while simultaneously, while we're selling this property, we will be starting to look for a property where we're wanting to, we, we, we know kind of the location that we want to go to. We'll be starting to look for a property there. And I've already sent my angel search party out to to scope out some stuff and to reserve something for us. That's part of my manifesting process that I, so selling here, simultaneously be looking for stuff, purchase something, and then gradually move into the property throughout the year. One thing that I don't have sorted and I just completely trust that it will happen is once we've sold the property here in Canberra, we still need to live in Canberra. So I'm just putting it out to the universe that that will all work out okay, you know, in whatever form. And that's a very different energy to me. Normally I would go, 
right, I need to have that sorted. I need to have stuff in place. I just absolutely trust to my the core of my being that that will all work out. And the more I've been talking about this, the more I'm comfortable with it. I was very hesitant to even share this dream with others in in fear that I would jinx it in some way. But I'm sharing it just because that's where we're at with the, I'm not sharing it to do anything other than just share with you. And the more I'm sharing, the more comfortable I feel about what's where we're at in the process. So anyway, I'll talk more about that when, when it's going. So then it's about, I'm very much, and you can go through this whole process for your, if you have a business or a career, tend to do whole of life in one sort of, what do I want for my whole of life? Then I go through this process again, specifically for my business, because my business is a big chunk of my life. Like it's a big chunk and it needs a separate sitting to think about, you know, what I want for that. And I've actually done quite a bit of planning for my business as well, but I go through the same process. What are my goals for my business? What is my my word or my phrase? And so for my whole of life, it's about being and receiving. It's kind of the same for my business, but I think it's more to do, I haven't got a word yet, but it's more to do with that rolling out, the makeover and the the rolling out of the newness of Happiness Hive. Um and my 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 values are similar uh, to my whole of life, but my business values are about helping to make a difference in other people's lives. It's about passion, the passion that I have that I bring towards my business. It's the passion that I help people have for themselves and their lives. It's belief. The belief in what I'm doing is making a difference, but really it's about helping people to believe, to wholeheartedly believe in themselves and what is possible. And I'm also about results in my business. It's about the results that I achieve and sharing my experiences with others. And it's about really helping people to achieve the results in their lives. So they're really important focus areas for my business and how I do that. Like integrity is such an important part that I'm being integrity in in line with who I am and what I'm here to do and the whole running of my business and that oh gosh yeah so so go through the same the same process and what do I want for my business and I've done a lot of that planning already so it's about executing I think and um yeah it's about executing that so anyway that's where we're at for the new year fabulous next level you process you can purchase if you wanted to to grab a copy of the actual playbook that I use it's a gorgeous it's gorgeous gorgeous I love it and so this is a copy of it if you're watching having a look online I shared it with one of my clients yesterday and she just said oh my gosh it just makes her feel like she wants to go through and answer the questions. It just looks really beautiful. And there's not a lot. It's a designed to be either printed out and handwritten in, or you could just have it online and the prompts there, you could write them in your journal. Do you know what? It is beautiful. And that's one of the things, my values is to create beautiful experiences and beautiful things. Like it's not just about living my best and most beautiful life, but bringing, bringing, beauty into the lives of others is incredibly important for me. So it does look beautiful. Anyway, you can purchase that. It's only $27, 27 Aussie dollars. So even less US dollars. So the details of that will be in the show notes there. And as I mentioned before, you can use this any time of the year. This isn't just a January thing. You can use it whenever your rhythm of new beginnings is actually happening. You can do that. So Hugs, happiness, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the episode. You can spread the love by sharing it with a friend so she can have a little bit of what we had today. And don't forget to rate and review 
so we can get it into as many hearts and ears as possible. You can keep the conversation going over on my socials at The Happiness Hive. And if you'd like more high vibe happiness in your life, come and join me in our community of inspired and motivated women where you'll have everything that you need to be truly happy and bounce out of bed every day, living and loving your best and most beautiful life. To find out more, pop over to the Happiness Hive website and click on the link Working With Catherine. Until next time, big hugs and happiness.